take me to prison? Have a look around, Liza. I've already had a taste of it. This is where I've been confined for the last few weeks. You want me to suffer? <laughs> I've suffered. Watching you and Colby on the monitor, not being able to talk to you or touch you. If you won't have monitors in jail, you might want to talk to the warden beforehand. Damn it, heaven, I've been punished enough. What would it take to make you hear me out, to really listen to what I'm saying? Why won't you at least try to understand why I've done what I've done? Because I don't care how you feel I anymore. I don't believe you. I know you better than that. You still care about me. And you could understand if you just let yourself. Is that what you brought me here for? Just to wring tears of empathy out of you? Let me go. Come I'm bleeding. Come on, lay it on me. Just, just no, give it to me. No, I am not. Give I'm going to stay angry at with you for the rest of my life. Don't walk out on me, Liza. Get away from me. I am leaving. What are you doing? What are you doing? Yeah. Let go of me. Liza. Let go of me, no. Adam. No. What are you oh. doing? What are you... Stop it. What have you done? Oh, you gave me no choice. I can't let you walk out of here. Adam, let me out of here. No, 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 you believe me, I know. Let me out of here. Now. No, we can't. The remote's outside. We're stuck. No. No. Yeah. I have to make you listen. I have to make you understand and feel what you can't help feeling when we're alone together. I am not going to listen to you. And the only thing I'm going to feel is hatred for the man I know you really are. You did that on purpose. You deliberately locked me in here. Yes. I'm going to get through to you one way or another. You're holding me prisoner. It's the only way I can get you to listen to I am to not me. listening to you. You are not going to put your spin on this, so I'll forgive you. I am not forgiving you for anything, including oh, this. Liza. Liza, no. No, no. Hello? 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 How could you do that? You just had this reinstalled. Oh, that's it. You're going to hear me out, Liza. You're holding me hostage. That's what you're doing. Do you think I wanted to do this? No, I, I hate being in here. But I'm not going to let you walk out of my life. You can't stop me. Where, where's that vent? That vent that you tunneled your way out of here like a little rodent. The vents have been sealed. You're lying. No, I'm not lying. I had them sealed the same day I had them reinstall the phone. And I had the food and water restocked. So we probably won't starve. I really hate you. I can't believe there's not a backup remote here. Especially after what happened to you. There isn't. Go ahead, knock yourself out. You won't find it. Well, then that makes you a bigger fool than I ever thought. You know, they're going to come looking for me. Immediately. Well, they won't either. Colby's with Jake. Nobody's expecting you. So why don't you just stop fighting me and let me say what I have to say? Okay, fine. Talk. Go on. Damn it. Just start talking. All right, it wasn't only for love. I was scared. I was afraid that once Jake became a part of your life that I'd lose you forever. You didn't trust me. Perhaps not. The Martins that have always hated me. And here you were ready to make Jake Martin the father of your child. A man who I'd almost lost you to just before this. You could give him a bond with you forever. It was none of your business. How can you say that? After what we'd been through together, losing our first child. You can't create a replacement. It, it wasn't for you to do. I wanted to give you what you'd lost. What we lost. You couldn't. And you still can't. Liza, you blame me for interfering with Colby's conception. Well, I feel the same way about you, exactly the same way, about you trying to engineer her conception with Jake Martin. He doesn't deserve to be her father. We are destined to be a family, you and me and Colby. Well, maybe we were. But then again, we'll never know now, will we? We can. 
Liza, we don't need a divorce. Oh, yes, we do, because I am not going to stay married to you anymore. Well, what about these terms that you want me to accept? Seeing Colby once a month with supervision. <laughs> do, you, does, do you actually think that I'm going to live with that? You know what? <laughs> I think it's a lot better than uh, seeing her behind a big piece of plexiglass in jail. What was the maximum sentence? 10, 15 years? All right, I don't blame you for playing hardball. I, I've always admired your guts, the ability to close a deal, but I think you're oversimplifying this particular situation. Oh, really? Federal crimes. You committed crimes that are punishable federal offenses. It was so did your mother. And Stuart. And Tad. And Liza. Liza, you. And Dixie. All of you. Fraud, forgery, uh, kidnapping, aiding and abetting. That's just a few that spring to mind. You are not going to send your brother to jail, Adam. Well, no, but I think I can make a hell of a case against your mother. She masterminded this whole thing, used undue influence on Stuart. So would you like to see her every other Sunday behind a plexiglass window? You wouldn't dare. You sure? Well, I'll tell you one thing. I will keep you in court for years. For years. Is that what you want? You want Stuart... Wasting his whole fortune, trying to keep your mother out of jail? What do you want from me? I want... I want you to reconsider. I want another plan. Once a month doesn't work for me. Fine. I'll talk to Jackson and he'll get back no, to No, no, no. Forget Jackson. No lawyers. No Jack. No Barry. <sighs> We're... Work it out. Just the two of us. We're trapped in here. We can do it. Does it have to be so cold in here? Could you please turn on the heat? Uh, I'm sorry. They, they, when I've closed the vents, they, they, they cut the heat off. Oh, you know, <laughs> I'll tell you. I'm glad you were so positive that you were never going to get stuck in here ever again. Yeah, I was. <laughs> there, if you're cold, you're really cold, there's, there's uh, some extra blankets in the bathroom closet. Key in the parlor. She has a voice like a cat on a pike. Maybe, maybe she's still here. Maybe she can. Oh, hear no, no, us. she doesn't even know this place exists. If she did, she would have rescued me long ago. Where is she? I don't see her. No, uh, well, uh, she's uh, probably uh, left for the evening. She was dressed to go out. Are you still cold? Look, I'll, I'll make you a hot toddy. How's that? I have everything right here. Not going to strong arm me in anything. I'll fight you with everything I have where Colby is concerned. Yeah, I'm sure you will. But I'll make it easy for you. I'll give you your divorce if you'll agree to my terms. Actually, there's only one term. What do you want? You and Colby continue living here. With me. I don't want Colby living under your influence. That's my only term. Non-negotiable. It's blackmail. No, it's a compromise. I'm not asking you to share my bedroom, <laughs> just my address. You'll still have your divorce. And I won't have any distance. I want to get as far away from you as I possibly can. Well, unfortunately, Colby can't live in the West Wing all by herself, can she? You're going to have to live there with her. Oh, I tell you. This is so you. You say you... You love me, and then you say that you want to keep us hostage. I am willing to accept respect 
any limitation, any boundaries you place on me. That's how much I love you. Respect, love, all in the same sentence. Two things you know nothing about. No, you're wrong, Liza. I have flaws, yes. I've admitted them before. I even put them in our wedding vows. But I thought you looked past them and loved me anyway. I thought so, too. It turns out I don't know you at all. I'm the same man you fell in love with, the same man you married. And I'm so crazy in love with you that here I am again, trapped in this same room that gives me nightmares. I please have the hot drink? Coming right up. Why don't you sit down and make yourself comfortable? Compromise is completely preposterous. It's totally impractical. No, no, not really. Think of the benefits to you. There would always be someone to watch Colby. You wouldn't have to move. You'd have your own staff. They'd all be at your disposal. Unless... you're just scared. Unless... you're afraid... to live under the same roof with me. A little too much chemistry, is that it? You know, you could be... naked in a tub of bubbles with a rose between your teeth, and it wouldn't faze me in the least. Then you'll do it? Divorced. Separate lives, living in the same house. That's your deal? Yes, right. And you, and you wouldn't just come stumbling into my bedroom with some sort of episode of amnesia or, or <laughs> sleepwalking. You could bar the door. I would get a really big dog, mean dog. So it's a deal? Shake on it? Oh, thanks, but no thanks. I think I'd like to keep my hand in case I need to hit you in the head with it. Fine, you have your deal. Now push the magic button and let me out of here. I, I told you, I can't. There is no way out. We're stuck in here. At least till morning. <sighs> so pretty good, considering. Well, even we survivalists can dine in style. Yeah, well, it's the only meal I'm having. I'm sure in the morning people will be looking for me. Well, in the meantime, might as well make the best of it. Hmm. Um, you want to uh, watch television, maybe so, uh, listen to some music? I'll watch the news. Where's the remote? In the break table on the desk. Thanksgiving Day, Liza and Colby are watching the Thanksgiving Day Parade. Colby is snuggled up against Liza's pink cashmere sweater. Liza is explaining the balloons and floats. If I close my eyes, I can imagine I'm with them, holding them close, breathing in the scent of Liza's hair. That's um, a journal that I that I kept while I was in here. It's just uh, just to pass the time. I'm suddenly not very. Uh, I'm gonna go to sleep. I'm tired. Well, let's turn in. <laughs> I'm on top. I'm going to catch pneumonia. Why would you take my blanket? I told you no. Oh, come on. This is ridiculous. We're adults. We have two blankets and body heat to burn. Now, if we were both in the same bunk, we'd be cozy oh. warm. All right. All right. You just can't move a muscle. Not even to scratch your nose. Okay, okay. Please, please. Oh. I promise I'll be a perfect gentleman. Better? 
night, Liza. Oh, yeah, fine. Respect, love, all in the same sentence. Two things you know nothing about. No, you're wrong, Liza. I have flaws, yes. I've admitted them before. I even put them in our wedding vows. But I thought you looked past them and loved me anyway. I thought so, too. It turns out I don't know you at all. I'm the same man you fell in love with, the same man you married. And I'm so crazy in love with you that here I am again, trapped in this same room that gives me nightmares. Yes, I please. Food is not going to save this marriage. Well, it couldn't hurt. <laughs> go on, go on, try one. Are they poisoned? Would I do that to you? You did it to Stuart. I didn't. That was a tranquilizer. Go on, my head, look. Hmm. Hmm. Delicious. Fresh out of the oven this morning. I told you, I, I restocked the food. I showed you last night. You left here, no, and you, I, I you didn't. left here, and you came back. No, I didn't. Yes, I you didn't. did. No, yes, you did. You came back here. You came back I here with this. Where? All I of this has been that. just a big trick, hasn't it? No. Oh. I want out of your life. I want out of this marriage. I want out. Liza, we have a deal. Open this partition. Liza, we, we've why do I waste this beautiful moment, this wonderful food? This moment, this moment epitomizes everything I hate about you. It's all a fraud, including this. Oh, Liza, Liza, we slept so sweetly in each oh. other's arms last night. Oh, Can't we just enjoy that? Well, you're blackmailing me. You're, you, you, you're blackmailing me into living in this house after we're divorced. It's only because I... What, you love me? You love me? If you love me, you'd let me go. Out of, out of this place and out of th this agreement. No, I can't. Liza, believe me. Staying in this house is going to work out just fine. Oh. We'll see. And as far as being confined in here, well, this, uh, this partition is designed to go up and down automatically once every 24 hours. You mean we're stuck in here until tomorrow morning? Well, yeah. I refuse to believe that. You will open this right now. I can't. There's no way. Oh, oh how could you? Mm. Oh, come on. Why do you think I would? I would do anything to keep you here. To, to get your back. Doesn't this prove that? Proof? You know what this proves? This proves that you do nothing but love to control me. Oh, my God, it's true. Oh, my God, it's you. What are you doing here? I thought Winifred was hitting the sherry bottle again. I had to see this for myself. Mother, would you please get me out of here? I'm just standing here. Get you out of here? This very instant, my darling. There you go. You wouldn't have 
all night, darling, with him, were you? Yeah, oh, yeah, he locked me in there and told me there was no way out. Got homesick, so I saw it out him? We should keep him there forever, darling, you know, just like a pet snake. We can feed him a rat every morning, we starting with Barry Shire. Do any good, Mother. This partition has been rigged by him to go up once every 24 hours. Why don't we throw him in the wood chipper out back and get rid of him once and for all? I'm so tired of talking about it. I just want this divorce finalized. Well, no, not until Barry reviews them. We had a deal. You want to see Colby? You give me a divorce pronto. We have a deal, remember? I pledge to honor my end of the bargain, but only after Barry has a look. You're stalling. It's good business. I would never ask you to sign legal documents without counsel. That's what you did to Stuart. Isn't there someone else you can go torment? Mother, I can handle it. This is between Adam and me. All right, darling, but if there's any trouble, don't worry. I can take care of it. Okay, call me later, okay? Good. Now we can have a civilized discussion. Who are you calling? Yes, Barry, it's Liza. Adam has some papers he needs to sign. He needs to review them as soon as possible. Could you please come to the house? Really? That's great. Thank you.